You might have heard that you can tell a turtle's age by the rings that form on its shell as it grows. But is this really true, or just another myth that is formed about the natural world? Well, let's find out. Well, I'm at a local pond right now, and right behind me, you can see it, are a bunch of basking turtles. It's a nice sunny day. The turtles are cold-blooded, so it's a nice sunny day, so they've come out of the water to warm up on the bank. I'm gonna try to sneak around them and catch one, take a nice close look at it for the camera. All right, so you see them all lined up on the shore. And, uh, might have been smart to bring a net, but I didn't bring one, so I have to use my bare hands. All right, so I believe this is a chicken turtle, I'm pretty sure. It might be a yellow-bellied slider, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a chicken turtle because it has stripes on its front legs, you see there. And I don't believe it has a yellow blotch on its cheek, although it's really not bringing his head out. He's pretty defensive right now. If you come out on a warm day like this, they will be stacked up on the bank, sometimes dozens of them. And what they're doing is they're, since they're reptiles, they are cold-blooded animals. This means that they don't have their own internal body temperature. They have to regulate that through their surroundings. So they absorb heat, and then they can get nice and toasty and stay warm. Chicken turtles are pretty generalistic feeders. They'll eat pretty much anything. They eat a lot of carrion, so if a fish dies, the turtles will come in and clean it up. They'll eat small living animals and plants, so, so pretty much anything they can crunch up. And they have pretty strong jaws. You see here, I'm gonna get a little stick. You can do a little de demonstration here. She's trying to get it. All right, see if she grabbed it. So if I were to get my finger in there, they have a pretty sharp beak. I don't think that would be fun. Now the nice thing about being a turtle is that once you get to this size in a pond like this, not a lot of things can eat you. The only thing that could probably take this turtle down would be a really big alligator. It could actually crush its shell. But other than that, they're pretty safe in the shell. Now a turtle is not like a hermit crab, so it doesn't fit in its shell and it can come out and go in and out. The shell is fused to its skeleton and is part of the turtle. They hatch from the eggs with their shell. Uh, it's a little soft when they first hatch, but then it hardens up and it grows with them. As the turtle grows, ridges or rings form on the sections of its shell. These are the key to determining the turtle's age. Count these rings and then divide that number by two. And this gives you an approximate age of the turtle you're looking at. Now a big female turtle like this, your average pond turtle, could be quite, quite old. Uh, this could easily be over 25 years. The average lifespan of these turtles is 20 to 30 years in the wild, but they can be over 40 years old. So this turtle here could easily be older than me, which is crazy to think about. I hope this video helped you learn something about these amazing aquatic reptiles. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time on Nature Tales.